Welcome everyone to this year's Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. Today, the best up and coming baseball talent from around the country and the world, many of whom have just recently competed in the Topps Amateur Showcase, will begin their journey as professional baseball players. Today is a day these young men have been dreaming about and working towards their entire lives. We wish them all the best of luck and look forward to watching them develop into even greater ball players over the coming years. With that said, it's time to get started. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first overall pick in this year's first year player draft, the Houston Astros select Daniel Dunn, a third baseman from the West region. With the second pick in the first round, the Miami Marlins select Tom Cruz, a shortstop from the West region. With the third pick of the first round, the Chicago White Sox select Robert Glover, a first baseman from the West region. Okay, so another top draft prospect is off the board after that selection. A lot of people, and of course his new organization, have high hopes for him. What do you guys think about his future? Well, I like this pick a lot. His talent certainly warrants him being taken early in the first round like this. And he looked very promising at the Topps Amateur Showcase. And from... Welcome back to the Minor League Pregame Show. I'm Matt Vaskersian, bringing you closer to Southern League play as we take a look at tonight's Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Robert Glover will be our subject, and he's making his double-A debut in this one after being the organization's first pick in the most recent first-year player draft. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement around him, Matt. He was targeted pretty heavily heading into the draft, and... They made it clear they were very happy they got the opportunity to draft him. And you know, he's still got a long road ahead of him before he makes his big league debut, but I'm pretty confident he'll be an impact player when he gets there. Now, it's time to work hard and prove why he was worthy of being a first-round pick. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. It's opening night 2014 and we've got a good matchup here between the Birmingham Barons and their Alabama rivals from the state capital, the Montgomery Biscuits. Robert Glover will stand in. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. fastball and oh he has to bend out of the way of that one and this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory Rocha will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down Adrian Gonzalez 
will dig in and take his first cuts of the new campaign. Now a fastball is hit on the ground towards second. On to first, and there are two down. Ryan Rivera will get his second shot at it now. He doubled to start out the home first. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And he's retired one away. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He doesn't really have a chance to set himself up, so this is all arm, but he makes it look routine. Xavier Huff will try it again. He flew out his first time. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, first baseman, David Guillen. David Guillen will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. And now we'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw to first in time, and you got to question that decision as the side is. Robert Glover will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Robert. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. Gonzalez is there to put it away for route number one. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Boy, they are just making life easy for this guy. Swinging on the first pitch of the inning. Pretty routine fly ball. It's been a cakewalk here early on. Now a ground ball towards the hole. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. Back with more on opening day after this. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Ryan Rivera will dig in. One for two, including a double back in the first. Now the one-two. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Five innings complete. Birmingham leads this thing one to nothing. Robert Glover will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And the fastball is lined into center field. That's a base hit. And that right there was his first hit at the double-A level. Steve, that's got to be an exciting moment for him. Yeah, and with that first knock out of the way, he can now settle in and start working on the next one. Of course, he's aiming for that first major league hit, but he's got to start somewhere. Jordan Danks will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Low for ball one. Turn two right here. Here we go. All right, come on now. Hey, let's roll. Hey, the right two. Let's roll it up, huh? Hey, the two. Let's roll it up. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Right up there, huh? Let's go, 
Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Here we go. Let's get the easy two now. Let's go. Here you go. Let it fly right here. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Ernest Mora will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at bats. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Hey, shoot. Shoot. Here we go, guys. Let's do it. Before the 0 1, he'll check on first. And a dive, but he's back in. Where's that one now? They have a rip up there right now, huh? It's the first though. Where's the first here? That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he's got to be careful now that some of these borderline calls don't get him started going downhill. Yeah, and sometimes it's really easy to dwell on those, but you have to keep looking forward. It's not easy, but you've got to do it if you want to have success. Hey, here we go, guys. Hey, let's go right here. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Hey, get us out of here, huh? Hey, no, get us out of this. Shut him down. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Gonzalez retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Barons are... Ramon Arias will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. And maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound. And safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Ryan Rivera will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors. Robert Glover will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. This is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Well, maybe a little question of whether this was going to stay fair or not. But you see, this is pretty much right over the bag at third and down the line. Jordan Danks will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. In there for strike one. Off 
speed pitch here, but it dips below the knees, evening us at one and one. Nail binding time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Birmingham leads this thing. One to nothing. David Guillen will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. A line drive caught coming off the bag. And that becomes the first down of the inning. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. And you have to feel good for that guy right there. The game's finally. ShowNation.com. The Barons come out on top, one to nothing. Good night, everybody. David Guillen will stand in here and like so many others hitless in the shutout last night. Now he runs up and gets this one down. 
And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Robert Glover will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Swing and a line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Fortunately, however, the third baseman's able to run it down, so there's going to be no advance. Wow. Jordan Danks will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. None out, runners at first and second. Here's one hit towards the hole. And that's through into left, a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Elroy Iverson digs in now with a chance to at least tie the game, if not give his club the lead here in the early stages. And a fastball's in there for strike one. You cannot let this situation get any worse. You gotta be thinking strikeout or ground ball. Even if you allow one run to score in this inning, that would be a major victory. Strike two. Now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And he didn't want that one to be in the strike zone. Even with the bases loaded, this is still a strikeout situation, remember. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Oh, that's a tough take, but a good one. The pressure's still squarely on the pitcher out there. He's still got to come in. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. On the ground is short. One there, back to first, and he throws it away. Get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Joel Hidalgo will start things off in the bottom of the second. On the ground is second. No problem here, one away. Xavier Huff will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw gets him, two down. Robert Glover will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Now the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And this is in the dirt as it short hops him here and he can't make the play at first. So chalk that one up as an E6 and he really can't believe it out there. Jordan Danks will dig in. He singled his first time around. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. Three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Joel Silva will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ramon Arias will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Grounded to third. Four, four, four. 
Throws in time, and that's out number one. David Guillen will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Swing and an easy one for the first baseman. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Joel Hidalgo will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Robert Glover will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself out there. He's going after guys, he's working ahead in the count, and he's keeping the ball around the plate. All the things you want to see in a young pitcher. And now we'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Well, just from a distance standpoint, you have to remember that left-handed hitters maybe get a step or two advantage over a right-handed hitter leaving that batter's box. So that's why it's much easier for lefties to bunt their way on than it is for righties to do it. And here, he needed those two extra steps because that was a very close play down there at first. Robert Glover will see if he can find a gap somewhere as he's got the possible go-ahead run at first with two down. Ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing and I'm just watching this game. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit. Joel Silva will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he gets on top of this one and sends it on the ground to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they can't get... Adrian Rocha will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Robert Glover will step in, 1 for 4 in the ball game. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Silva is there, and he has it for the out. Kevin Villanueva will lead things off here as they look to try and win this thing in the bottom half. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. And the catch is made one away. Not a lot of offense to go around in this one, but what offense we did see came from this man's bat. He's our top player.
David Guillen will get his first cuts here. So one and two with one away. Oh, and it's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. We played an inning, still not. Robert Glover will be the batter. Batting six. First baseman. Robert Glover. Let's turn two. Turn two here. Hey, we got one here. Here's one hit towards the hole. Kick, kick, kick. Throw gets him. Two down. Kevin Villanueva will make his way in now. He drove in two of his club's three runs in last night's game. Now a fastball is hit on the ground towards second. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Batting fifth, catcher, Joel Gignol. Willie Rosales will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. On the ground is short. The tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired so it's no runs Adrian Gonzalez will stand in getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night hey, nobody away. and this is hit hard on the ground towards short throws in time and that's out number one Ryan Rivera will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. Swung on and rolled towards first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is... Robert Glover will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Robert Glover. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. <laughs> yeah, no mistake about that one. That one's right there. Runner away from third, now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Now 0-2, you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always have to be a strike. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Villanueva is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of Xavier Huff will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Swing and a ground ball to short. And he's retired here, one away. David Guillen will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. Willie Rosales will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Ryan Rivera will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And this will work as a sacrifice as they get the out at first, but the runner moves into scoring position at second base. David Guillen will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Robert Glover will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and a very even game through six innings. 
On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Yeah, and you always like to get those firsts out of the way, but the first home run, well, that's kind of extra special for any hitter. This is exactly the kind of production that this team's going to be looking for from him as he moves up through the minor leagues. Robert Glover will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue. Here it was back in the seventh inning, a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the second run will score. It's now a 4-1 to ball game. Oh, and a crucial, crucial at-bat right there. And that's what they call delivering when the pressure's on as they play two more here and move that lead to three now. Now here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One oh. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Gonzalez is there, makes the catch, and the side is... Adrian Gonzalez will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Joel Silva will stand in as their last chance now. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. On to first, and that's your ball game. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Not a lot of offense in this ballgame, but what offense was provided came primarily from this guy, our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits, but more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Harris, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook. Xavier Huff will be the batter. Curveball grounded towards second. On to first, and there were two down. David Guillen will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And inning in the book. 
Robert Glover will stride in. He drove in three of his team's four runs in last night's game. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Willie Rosales will start things off in the bottom of the second. On the ground to third. And a good throw gets him one gone. Robert Glover will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And he'll open the fifth inning here with the ball on the ground for short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. And now a late squeeze attempt, but it's popped up. Leesman is there to make the catch. And Robert Glover will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Seemed to me like the wheels were coming off for this guy a bit in the sixth inning. Any surprise he's back out there for the seventh? A little. I, I mean, this deep into a start, that's usually when you say, we'll let the bullpen take care of it from here. Apparently, though, they think he's got something left. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Off the bat, I thought this thing might be caught, but it just yeah, keeps going and going, and he nearly got it out of here as he winds up hitting it off the track. He's into second base here with a leadoff double. Jordan Danks will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Now a fastball here as this is slashed the other way over the third baseman's head. A fair ball. And he's safe. Xavier Huff will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Joel Silva will see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Runs up to Bunn here and pops this one up. Cox is there and he makes the catch for the out. So Robert Glover will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the... And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our top player of the game
Robert Glover will stand in, and that average has to be a source of pride for him early on. He's got it up over 350 to start the new season. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Swing and a line drive to left. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Jordan Danks is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Now here's a spot with a run home already. That looks nice on the scoreboard, but if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. Oh, and now a swing and a drive. Deep left field, way back there, and this is going to clear the wall by plenty. It's a home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left as they move on top four to nothing. And he tries to bunt here, but this is going to be foul. So that's a costly out number two. David Guillen will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now here's a swing and a ground ball. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half. Robert Glover will stand in to lead off the second. And what will they do for an encore after the first inning they put together? Well, you know, Matt, they might not have to do anything at all. That's how good the first inning was. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Jordan Danks will get another shot to do some damage. He had the three-run homer his first time around. And here's the first pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Got to wonder if the natives will start to get restless here. Well, it's definitely not the start to this game this crowd was hoping for. Far from it. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. Ernest Mora will dig in now. One for two to this point. First pitch coming. Low for ball one. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. Three and oh now. Pitching him pretty careful here, wouldn't you say? Well, it's possible to be too careful. I mean, this is not a silver slugger award winner up there. You want this guy to hit the ball and put it in play. Here we go, guys. That one's in there, three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Villanueva is going to get there to make the catch. And now they may have a shot at doubling the runner at first. Elroy Iverson will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. Hey, Here's a right. fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. 
can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And he takes a big swing here, but this winds up a little tapper to the left of the mound. And the recovery's too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Ramon Ponce will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Uh, he knows he should be out of the inning already, but you know he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of this. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, what a nice job so far of working himself into a hitter's count. Now he can go to work on maybe picking up that two-out RBI out of the nine hole. Called strike two. And that'll stay in the park as it's off the center field wall. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The relay. And the two-out threat will not come to pass. As <laughs> Willie Rosales will stand in. And he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. And here's a pitch swung on and sent on the ground to short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's no run. Ramon Arias will stand in now, coming off a perfect four for four a night ago. Swing and a ground ball to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Xavier Huff will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And he is in there. David Guillen will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Robert Glover will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And the 1-0 is sent out to straightaway center field. Villanueva is underneath this one, and that's out number two. Adrian Gonzalez will come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Robert Glover will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Now the first pitch. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as it's now a six-run ball game. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's in there. Base hit. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. Jordan Danks will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. In there, a base hit. 
And the throw will come back in quickly, so it's first and second now with only one away. Ernest Mora will step in, one for four in the ball game. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Short lead from second, now the pitch. One and one. He doesn't look like the same reliever here in his third inning of work. Looking a little worse for wear out there. Hey, plays that too. Let's roll it up. Got a hold up. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Elroy Iverson will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. Hidalgo has got it, and the side is retired. So it's no... Very good performance offensively for this bunch, but out of everyone, I think we should single out this fellow right here as our tops player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. You'll see on the line score, four hits.
and we're back with our minor league pregame show as we move closer toward double-A baseball in the Southern League with today's Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Robert Glover will be our focus, and he's coming off a very nice game in which he racked up four hits and just looked dialed in at the plate. Yeah, anytime you get yourself four base knocks in a game, you're doing something right. You might have gotten a couple of gifts in terms of good pitches to hit, but you know, it's not about the pitches you get, it's what you do with them. And from what I saw, the balls were flying all over the yard off his bat. Well, that performance was big for his team, and I'm sure they're hoping he can do it again in this one. Okay, Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. Sean Woodruff will be the batter. Slowly hit to the left side. Let it out, let it out, let it out. On to first, and it's dropped. And that will allow a run to score. Robert Glover will stand in, and boy, look at that batting average to start off the month of April. In there, no balls and a strike. Now here's a spot with a run home already. That looks nice on the scoreboard, but if you could put up a two or even a three spot here in the first, that could really go a long way against a guy like this. Ball one. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw is dropped at first. And as a result, they won't get anybody on the play. Wow. Jordan Danks will stand in, hoping to get things turned around here in April as he enters play with an average down in the 220s. Ball one. And in the first inning, with this guy already looking a little shaky, I think you let him throw you one here. He hasn't proven to me that he can find the strike zone and he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Ernest Mora will dig in now, and as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but he doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So in other words, I have no idea. Short lead from second, now the pitch. Too high that time, and it's three and one. I think you sit here and you start to wonder, is this guy going to find his command anytime soon? He's not just missing by a little. A lot of these pitches have been very easy takes for these hitters, including that pitch. a swing and a ground ball but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two swing and he takes this the other way to right and that's in there base hit and that's going to play the door they run from second as they move out in front here three to two and they won't come close to getting him he's in there at third Sean Cox will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. It was kind of a delayed swing right there. He looked like he had to wait to see if it was going to be anywhere close, and now he's in a big hole. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Mm. Just did manage to catch that one with the last two inches of his glove. That could have been trouble. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And he's 
strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Robert Glover will dig in. He reached on an error his first time. On a big swing there at a fastball, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the lead will move to three as it's now a 5-2 to two game. Now the pitching coach is going to come in and have a word with him. Here in the third, this is probably just to try and clean out the negative and put a positive thought in his head. Well, something like, I, I've seen you work out of jams like this many times before. I know you can do it again. Here we go now, let's go. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. Oh, look at this. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Ernest Mora will dig in now with two runs already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. 4-1. And he looks at a curveball that falls in, one and one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. Uh, a run you can... Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. In the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate, and that'll keep the runner at third. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, he must have been looking for that same breaking ball because that pitch, it's right there. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Sean Cox will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. Runner away from third, now the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. You know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. Three and oh now. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on two and oh. Now it's three and oh, and the tide is not working in his favor. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Lima will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Juan Guzman will dig in. He popped out his first time. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Throw gets him two down. Rick Segura will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. The one-two. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's... Peter Hay. Let's see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Slider, and this is hit on the ground out to short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Will Robert Glover will stand in. He's one for two so far. 
in there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And he turns to the curveball that time as he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And that's in there, base hit. Well, this is not exactly the most convincing swing you're going to see, but this is a results-oriented game. He manages to take the ball the other way and make his way aboard. Runners off for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Ball's there, and he is out trying to take second. Good throw. Well, that was kind of surprising to see him stealing anyway. It didn't really look like he had a great lead at all, and they throw him out by a country mile. Edgar Lima will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that is through into left field, a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. So it's runners at first and second now with one man out. Robert Glover will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And he's able to get there on the line. Juan Guzman will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Okay, pitch now here's a swing and a ground ball back up the box. There's one on the first, and the rally ends just as quickly as it began. A two away now here in the eighth. Sean Woodruff will stand in now, and hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. Swing and a ground ball to first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top's player of the game. Give the record a second and a chance to Hitting people like a scene of amazement While they slipping back, my feet is planted in the pavement Crumble I can never do So now I'm looking down at you What are you gonna do? You listen to the knowledge of a scholar You say hi, I breathe, tell them how I holler I'm the E-double, and I proclaim my name Straight up, good game, peeps all game I'm like a rhino, running through the roughest pack They figure I'm a d the mic, so they step back, breathe the microphone is who lasts the longest, the news is strongest. It ain't a game as plain to see. You listen to the sounds of breeze. There ain't a future in your front. I never got caught with a If you ever do, yo, will never be with me, yo. Serving in the Cherokee, or maybe it's a deal. Black on black bend, so we'll get it up for me, yo. Never have to worry about my posse getting jumped. Cause if we ever do, yo, TV, pop the trunk. Cause we don't go for playing, wanna play, go grab a ball. When I'm on the mic, I ain't for playing, not at all. Cause I clock 10 G's a week, booming at my peak. All we see. I can give you a job, a place to eat hearty. Meet your own boy, Marty, at a bar. Party taking over, barking like a dog named Zoom. I'm picking suckers like a four leaf Felipe Blanco leads things off now in the top half of the second. And a pretty feeble effort that time as this is tapped in front of the mound. Pro to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
Rick Segura will dig in. He popped out his first time. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself. Robert Glover will stand in, and boy, look at that batting average to start off the month of April. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Aguilar is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Robert Glover will stand in here, hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. And he can't hold on there as he swings and misses on a pitch in the dirt, and he's down 0-2 now. Now 0-2, you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always have to be a strike. And he sends a fastball out to left field and fairly well hit. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Jordan Danks will get an opportunity here in a run-scoring spot now following the two-out double. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. Throw goes to third, and he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. One one. Swing and ooh, he saws him off with that one. But this is a foul ball. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Oh. And with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. Don't let them score on a wild pitch. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. And he does have a base open, so he doesn't have to give in on three and two. Three, two, here it comes. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Rick Segura will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zeros since. And once he kind of got on, settled on, into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Robert Glover will dig in. He doubled his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Seems like whatever was working early on suddenly is not working now. It's almost like he's imploding right before our eyes. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Now with two strikes... He can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. The one-two. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the tying run will score on the sacrifice fly as it's now a 4-4 ball game. And at the very least, that's what he's up there hoping to do. And that's hit the ball in the air somewhere. So nice job to pick up that runner from third. Although the other two runners have to stay put now with two way. And now a ball hits slowly down the line to third. Bare handed. And 
And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Well, that's a tough chance there, but it's one he's got to make. You'll see the bare hand pickup. Sometimes you don't get a real good grip on the ball. You get it a little too deep into your palm, and he winds up throwing this one away. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. Sean Tejada will have to get loose in a hurry now as he'll come in and run following the injury. Robert Glover will dig in now. One for two to this point. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. One and one. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Peter Hay will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Boy, just so late on that fastball. And you're not too surprised about that when you're facing a reliever that throws as hard as this guy does. And it's an easy play at first to take it himself for the out. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. On to first and there were two down. John Woodruff will step in looking to remain perfect. He's already four for four. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Peter Hay will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And he reaches up and sends it on the ground to second. A dive, and he knocks it down. And no chance at all to make a play here, so despite the effort, the inning will continue. Robert Glover will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Now the first pitch. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Tejada is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no question he was a tough out up there. You see the three hits, including a home run.
MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Robert Glover will stand in. Trying to keep up the hot pace as he's well over 400 here to start the year. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And on the first pitch he sees, it's a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field as it's now a 7-3 game. And early on here, he's having real trouble locating his pitches. I mean, this is another pitch that's biting off way too much of the plate. And they've roughed him up for two home runs already. And we're not out of the first yet. Sean Tejada will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Rick Segura will dig in. Drove in a run with a bases loaded walk his last time. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's no. Robert Glover will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now this is cut and thrown to first. Jordan Danks will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. You know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. 3-0 and oh now. Pitching him pretty careful here, wouldn't you say? Well, it's possible to be too careful. I mean, this is not a Silver Slugger award winner up there. You want this guy to hit the ball and put it in play. And he gets this fastball over back to 3-1 and one now. Probably his best located pitch so far. Right on the outside corner, and that's the spot he's going to need to start finding. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. The second relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Edgar Lima will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 thus far. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Pretty good work out of the bullpen, as you see there. He got called in much earlier than I'm sure he expected, but he's given him a real lift so far. Robert Glover will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Mm. Just overmatched him there. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. Tejada falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. I think at first he, he probably had thoughts about tagging up here, but there's that old baseball adage, don't make the last out of the inning at third base. So staying at second, probably the right call. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Rick Segura will step in, a ground out victim his last time. And he reaches up and sends it on the ground to second. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. 
Robert Glover will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Oh, he waits back on the change there, and this is hit high and fairly deep out to left. And see you later. That one is gone. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game as they jump ahead by three. Yeah, make it four home runs as a team now after that last one. And this guy's led the way with two of those four. I tell you, I wouldn't give this guy anything to hit next time around. He's as locked in as you can get. On the ground, softly to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Peter Hay will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Robert Glover stand in with two home runs already under his belt in this one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. That's hard hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field, the base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And the throw in gets away from him. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there, getting the ball in, is going to wind up costing him. And they will get it out here as he's tagged out at second. But meanwhile, a run is already in to score. Tom Cruz will stand in now. And hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. And you know, this is one celebration that I didn't think we were going to be seeing. They came from way, way down and turned this thing around. That just shows you how you can't take any lead for granted in this game. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Back here with our minor league pregame show, I'm Matt Vaskersian getting you ready for double-A Southern League action tonight as we jump into our Bowman prospect spotlight. Robert Glover is in the glow. He's coming off a very nice game in which he racked up four hits and just looked dialed in at the plate. Yeah, anytime you get yourself four base knocks in a game, you're doing something right. You might have gotten a couple of gifts in terms of good pitches to hit, but you know, it's not about the pitches you get, it's what you do with them. And from what I saw, the balls were flying all over the yard off his bat. That performance was big for his team, and I'm sure they're hoping he can do it again in this one. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. Edgar Lima will stand 
in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Sean Woodruff will get his first shot here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Hey, nobody out. Nobody out. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Pro to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Well, and that's exactly what you want to do right there. Get yourself another ground ball, and that's a good way to start the second as he gets the easy ground out. Robert Glover will stand in now and beware because he has been off the charts hot here to start the season. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Guzman ranges back and he has it for route number two. Edgar Lima is ready to go here as we begin the third. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Sean Woodruff will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he'll just flip this one underhanded to first to record the out. Tom Cruz will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. That slowly hit to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So nothing. Brandon Cato will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. And now we'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Peter Hay will stand in. He popped out in his last time. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base and the inning is... Robert Glover will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First baseman, Robert Glover. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Moises Sierra will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. And a slider stays outside, and he falls behind 2-0. Two tough sliders there, back to back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here, down two and zero. Oh. Two and one now. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Cato will settle under it to make the play for the first out, as the runner will have to head back to first. Elroy Iverson will try it again. He was hit by a pitch his first time. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And now this is smothered, but it squirts away a bit. now. Pitching him pretty careful here, wouldn't you say? Well, it's possible to be too careful. I mean, this is not a Silver Slugger award winner up there. You want this guy to hit the ball and put it in play. 
Now the 3 1. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Sean Cox will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. One-0 pitch is right there, but ruled a ball. Two and oh. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. And that's in there. Three and one. Yeah, he needed that one to avoid loading the bases, but it's still a long road back from here. Here we go. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Leury Garcia will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game to this point, as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder, how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? And here's a fastball called for strike two. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. And he didn't want that one to be in the strike zone. Even with the bases loaded, this is still a strikeout situation, remember. A ball hit hard to the left side. That's in there, base hit. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. Robert Glover will get another opportunity here as they've batted around now. Now a swing and a ground ball. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. All told, ten men come to the plate here. David Batista will lead things off now in a completely different ball game since the last time these guys took their hacks. And after that six-run inning, you got to hope you can put here, together here. some kind of response. The last thing you want to do is a one-two-three inning, so a little patience wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Tom Cruz will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, get, things get, get, get a get whole up. lot more interesting. No problem here, one away. Juan Guzman will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Robert Glover can break this one wide open now if he can find a gap here with the bases loaded. Swing and a liner towards second. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. Ah, and that's what those stat nerds call a high leverage at-bat. I don't know what that means, but whatever you want to call it, he comes through in a big way to push a two-run lead, now up to four. Stay back. Moises Sierra comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't hit into a double play. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. Good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. He started in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Grounded foul. Still two strikes.
ball count now. Three and two. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. He waits. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Foul. The next three, two. Now a swing and a ground ball. The second for one. Back to first and a great stretch there may be the difference. Peter Hay will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. They'll go to the bag for one, but they'll only get one as he's in there at second. Rick Segura. We'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. Here's a ground ball to first. On to first, and that's your ball game. Well, maybe a little problem is that they wind up having to burn through the bullpen a little bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish off this victory. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name? Robert Glover will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for a base hit. Jordan Danks will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Oh, and trouble lurking now. He's got it to 2-0. And, oh. and one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. And that questionable call on the previous pitch it really changes the at bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on two and oh. Now it's three and oh, and tide is not working in his favor. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. Well, this is turning into a real dogfight now.
rounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. He'll try it again, three and two. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side... Tom Cruz is ready to go here as we begin the third. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. Sean Woodruff will stand in. A base hit his first time around. On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Robert Glover will dig in now with two runs already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And that'll score the runner from third as they'll open up a 3-1 to one lead. Luis Carbajal will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Grounded to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Sean Woodruff will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman. Robert Glover will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. And a change up here as this ball's grounded foul. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. David Batista will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Hit on the ground towards first. And he's got himself a base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Luckily, the pitcher is there to back up, however, so there will be no advance. Felipe Blanco will come forward now at a great RBI chance here with runners at the corners. And these opportunities have been few and far between so far. They've got to make something happen soon, or this game might just get away from them. The throw to the plate, and the runner is out at the plate as they cut him down trying to score. Peter Hay will get another opportunity here as they've batted around now. One, two. Now a slider is swung on and grounded towards short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So Robert Glover will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Jordan Danks will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this end. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down. Rick Segura will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And here's a pitch swung on and sent on the ground to short. Throw gets him, two down.
Robert Glover is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Now the first pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Yeah, that first fastball took off on him a little bit. This is a much better spot. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Jose Gonzalez will get a late call now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up the save. Jordan Danks will stand in now and, hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Swing and a ground ball to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others. Welcome back to the Minor League Pregame Show. I'm Matt Vaskersian, bringing you closer to Southern League play as we take a look at tonight's Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Robert Glover is in the glow as he enters this game riding a 10-game hitting streak. Steve, what do you think about his chances of extending it in this game? Well, Matt, we all know that these streaks are always tough to keep going, especially when people start to catch... And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Robert Glover will stand in for the first time now, coming off a three-hit contest in the loss last night. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Out in front of a curveball here as this is bounced on the ground to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Vladimir Abreu will stand in, and that average has to be a source of pride for him early on. He's got it up over 350 to start the new season. On the ground is short. This could be two. Back to first, and he throws it away. And he is in there. Garth McMahon will come forward now in an RBI opportunity. He probably didn't think he'd have. Yeah, it certainly didn't look like he'd have one, but now's where you really have to make sure. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. Alfredo Marte 
will dig in now. And as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first. Robert Glover will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now a swing and a drive high in the air and deep to right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Well, that's a nice job here of cashing in with two outs. You could see they were shaded to pull, but he slices this ball the other way, forces the outfielder to have to cover some ground fielding this thing, and as a result, that runner is going to come all the way around to score from first. Ball two now. Yeah, he's got an open base here. Looks like he's going to use it. Cut fastballs in for a strike two and one. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Oh, he's, he's got a legitimate gripe right there. I don't know about that one. This is toward the hole, and it's going to get into right field. A two-out hit. The relay throw... And he will make it back in there. He's safe at third. Ernest Mora will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. High with the cut fastball, and he's behind 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one fouled off to the right side. Slur, good pitch, and it's back to two and two. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after... <laughs> Vladimir Abreu will dig in. He reached on an error his first time. Now a broken bat as this ball is hit on the ground. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Arthur Ray will dig in. He popped out his first time. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Robert Glover will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Robert Glover. Extends nicely there as this is driven pretty well out to deep right field. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. And he is in to second base with a leadoff double. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Jordan Danks is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this will get foul for strike two. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he'll dive back in. Ready with another 0-2. Oh, 
swing and a liner towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And they've got a man caught in the rundown. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Fernando Garcia will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop in a big way. To second for one, on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Joey Easley will get another crack, one for three thus far. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. In time to first, and there are two away. Kevin Lau will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Vladimir Abreu will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. From deep in the hole. And a heck of an effort that time, but the throw's too late, and that'll certainly be scored an infield single to lead off the inning. Robert Glover will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Robert Glover will stand in as their last chance now. So the hole left side, and it's through a base hit. And he is out at the plate, trying to get a little too greedy when he didn't need to be, and this ball game is over. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. And quite a lot of offense in this one.